Do you want to make sure you get a higher score on your next IELTS writing task too? Well, you've come to the right place. Hello, my name is Adam from IELTS Band Up, and I was a writing examiner for more than 10 years. And in this video, I'm going to go step by step for you to write a better advantages disadvantages essay. Now, if you'd like to know more about me, please check the information section below. In there, you can find my email address if you'd like me to help you in other ways or any books I might have done. Uh, but the main thing is, check out the PDF in the information section. You can see the essay from today's lesson and lots more useful information. All right, let's get started. As you may or may not know, there are six different types of IELTS Task 2 essays. In this lesson, we're going to focus on the advantages, disadvantages. Um, make sure you check the links in the information section. There will be a link for each type of essay question and how to write it. Now, advantage, disadvantage questions, they're quite easy to see. So I'm going to quickly go through them, right? The widespread use of the internet has given people access to information on a level never experienced before. Well, what are the advantages of this, you know, access to information and what are the disadvantages well a lot of people find the advantages would be easier right um, they can find information faster they can make uh, connections um, they can do research the disadvantages sometimes people find a little more difficult but you know the disadvantages might be uh, people using the internet to cheat you know rather than writing a paper they just copy something online or uh, they they might find misinformation, things that are not true. So this is kind of what you should be looking for. Many cities around the world have been implementing public bike sharing programs. What are the advantages? Well, advantages, uh, better for public transportation, uh, fewer cars on the road, people better health. Disadvantages might be maybe more traffic jam because there's bike lanes instead of cars. Uh, more people might get injured. Um, in some cities with bad weather, maybe people don't use them enough and it's a waste of money. But anyway, there's lots of different things. Um, I will mention here that the biggest problem I noticed as an examiner is people usually have enough ideas or they usually have, excuse me, enough grammar and vocabulary, but their ideas are kind of terrible. And the reason for this is it's usually a lot of younger people that write these essays. And some countries have a little bit better education system for writing essays or critical thinking. Um, so one of the best ways to prepare is not just to write a bunch of essays, but to just look at a bunch of essay topics and think like, okay, make a quick plan in your mind or write it down. Then if you see something similar on the real test, you save a lot of time thinking, okay? Now, let's get into today's lesson. Um, telecommuting, where people work from home using technology, is becoming more popular. Uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of this development? This is the topic we're going to focus on today. But before we jump into that, um, the essay I'm going to use in this lesson is going to be around a band 7 to 7.5. I'm going to try not to use overly academic vocabulary or overly complex grammar. I'm going to try to keep it a little simple. Uh, make sure you check the information section for examples of what a lower and higher level essay would look like. So there'll be a PDF um, linked to a G drive, and then you can check that out. Um, your ideas and structures are what make a great essay. I already mentioned this. So really what this video is for is making sure you do all the fundamental necessary things to write a good essay. And that's what we're going to focus on in this lesson. Um, as far as the grammar and vocabulary, you might get some new expressions here, but really that's something you need to learn. Um, a lot of people think they can just study for IELTS and get a better IELTS score. Well, that does help. But at the end of the day, you need to have good English and understand the IELTS test to get a good score. 
all right people really want to find this if you ever see a website that people say oh there's an easy way to get a band seven no there's not um i can show you a faster way a better way but an easy way no it's only easy if your english is already really good all right so that's something just be aware of when you see people advertising now as i mentioned in all of my videos and lessons you need to make a plan first it is so important okay a lot of people think they have 40 minutes and the sooner they start writing the more they can write this is not true they've done lots of research on this if you start writing right away what happens is you start writing and then you stop and think you write a little more and then you stop and think and what's even worse is you go back to read what you already wrote but you can avoid wasting time during the writing process by making a plan first remember you have 40 minutes if you spend the first 10 minutes making a good plan that gives you 30 minutes to write the essay and you should just be writing right you can focus more on you know using connecting words it's so much better and again people say well 40 minutes it's too short no it's not 10 minutes planning 30 minutes writing now if you wrote 10 words a minute that's not fast you would write 300 words if you wrote 15 words a minute and that's a little bit fast but still not crazy now you're up to 450 okay and if you need a band six or lower then 10 words per minute 300 words that's all you need okay so please make a plan it helps you write better it organizes your ideas and believe me you'll get a higher score okay well let's get started with the planning for this one uh first we're going to focus on the advantages and so what are the advantages of well of telecommuting right so that's the topic of i uh, will just grab that here all right um uh, so well the first one is work flexibility with when you work you can save time by not commuting some people can be more productive because they are not distracted by coworkers. better work-life balance because you can spend more time with your family companies can save money on office space and people can save money on housing as they can live wherever they want okay so those are the main three um it's really hard to pick um let's see flexibility i think that's a good one save time not commuting um so ooh, it's hard to pick uh, i'm gonna go with i'm gonna take this one out i'm gonna do two personal it doesn't matter but i'm gonna go with those three okay um by not by not commuting okay now let's focus on the disadvantages right so here the disadvantages of uh telecommuting okay? and some things we could say for the downside would be a feeling of isolation and loneliness too many distractions at home you might have some communication challenges because it's not face to face you might have a problem if there's a technological issue perhaps it would be harder to get promoted so those so those, are, those are some things you could do there um i'm gonna say i'm gonna go with the first three right Th those would be to me the easiest to explain now I didn't mention it here, but a lot of times they'll ask you this one. Like they might say, what are the advantages or disadvantages of the development? They might also ask you, do the advantages of telecommuting outweigh the disadvantages? So they, it might also be this one. So it's, it, it could be this one, but just, just to show you this one, because this one is a little bit harder, you still want to make one advantages paragraph and one disadvantages paragraph 
And you might be thinking, well, where should I say which one do I think is more? That would be in your conclusion. And we'll, we'll talk about that later. But for now, let's just focus on the introduction. Okay? So for the introduction, let's first do what a lot of websites teach you to do. It's not bad, but it's not great. But let's do that now. Uh, let's change it. A telecommuting or let's call it like a remote working where um, employees work uh, from home using you know, computers and the internet. Um, you could change the grammar too. Has become much uh, more popular maybe in, in recent years. Telecommuting has, well, let me fix that after. So telecommuting has advantages and disadvantages as will be outlined in this essay. Now this looks perfectly fine, but as you can see in this and my other videos, we can do better, right? Now, a lot of you were probably students during COVID-19. So I'm going to talk about it from that angle. You could also talk about it from work. Since 2019, when a lot of the world was forced to study and work from home, working remotely has become much more popular. Even now that people can return to work or school, comma, many choose to telecommute. This essay will outline the advantages and disadvantages of this and give my opinion at the end. This looks better, all right? It gives a little bit more personal information. Um, you could change this. You could be even more personal. You could say, you know, from 20, 2020 to 2022, I studied at home and I got really familiar with using a computer for work or for study and then jump into it and then say this uh, essay will outline. So there's many ways you can do this, but the main thing I want to stress is to make it personal. You can do this if you're not trying to get a higher score. This, this for a lot of people is faster, but this is better. Um, this has the feeling of a band seven or higher, right? Whereas this has the feeling of a band six or lower, depending on your accuracy. So I'm going to delete that one for now. And let's get into the body paragraph one. Um, so let's go with, let's go with advantages first. Okay. So we'll go with the advantages of telecommuting first. Of course, what do we need? Well, we need a topic sentence. There are many benefits that working remotely can bring for people and companies. This is enough if you only need a band six or lower. Well, again, this is the style, but we made a plan. So let's make a better topic sentence, right? We've got, we've got here flexibility, less commuting, right? And save money on office space. Right, so let's go. And the top three are, comma, work flexibility, less commuting, and companies saving money on office costs. Now that looks much better, right? And we got everything right here. So let's just start with work flexibility. First and foremost, when people work from home, they can choose their working hours. This is especially convenient for working mothers who need to have a little more flexibility with their work schedule to take care of their family. Now, I apologize. It's not just working mothers. Okay, we could change this to <laughs> working parents, right? It's not just the mother's responsibility. So my apologies for that. Um, but yeah, there's the first point. And I think it's the most important. That's why I use this expression, first important. And this is especially, right, this is coming back to the flexibility issue, right? Now we move on to, right, save time commuting. Another benefit is that people can save many hours a week by not having to commute. 
in America, it is estimated that the average person spends eight hours a week commuting. And this time could be better spent with family or doing more work. There you go. There's a second. So another benefit. And give a little point, you could say, for instance. And there's our second point. Now it's time to get into our third point. Do we remember what that is? Well, yeah, companies can save money. Companies are also able to save a lot of costs because they need less office space for workers. For example, companies like IBM have been saving millions of dollars on office space rental because they need less space. And there we go. All right. So there's the other one. So this is the, the third point, right? Uh, for example, right, maybe I could say something like to illustrate this, uh, companies like IBM, and there we go. We've got three points. Now, how long is this? This looks pretty reasonable. This is 154 words. Okay. Now, as I mentioned in all of my videos, Right? If you only need to get a band six or lower, well, just go with two points. Right? Now we're down to 115 words. And we can even cut some more words off that. We can go here, 115 minus 16, boom, 99 words. Okay, It just seems like the magic number I usually come up with if your topic sentence is a little bit shorter and you have two points and two examples, you're looking at a band six. If you're really good with your wording and your grammar, maybe 6.5, right? But yeah, and this here, this is more for the seven or higher style, okay? Now, let's get into body paragraph two, which we know is the disadvantages, right? Um, well, rather than saying disadvantages, let's use a different, different word. Despite these advantages, there are a number of drawbacks. And we know we're talking about working remotely because we mentioned it here many times. We mentioned there. So some people, they want to say from working remotely. You can, but you don't have to uh, because we know what we're talking about. But instead, we could save our time and just talk about these three things, right? With the top three being people feeling isolated, too many distractions at home, and less meaningful communication. So there we go. We got our perfect topic sentence. Um, again, this would be enough. This would be just a bit better. Okay. Now let's jump into it. First, comma, many people reported feeling depressed when working or studying from home during COVID-19. The reason for this is that many psychologists believe that when people do not interact with classmates or coworkers, comma, they often feel lonely and depressed. Now we already said lonely, so let's just put it there. Okay. And there's our first point. Okay, we got first, and then the reason for this, yay. There's the first point. Second point, too many distractions. Another problem is that when people work from home, there are often too many distractions, such as family responsibilities and hobbies. Many people report that it's difficult to focus on work when there are fun things they could be doing nearby. Great. And there's the second one, right? So let's get started. Another problem, right? There's our second point. And then here, um, this is where we support that idea. Now we're moving on to the third one, right? And that was, I guess we don't need to go up there. The third one being uh, less meaningful communication. Last but not least, many people believe that communicating through technology 
is still less meaningful than face-to-face -face communication. Many experts say that we don't really make eye contact when using Zoom, and this leads to less trust and meaningful communication. There we go. Now we got our third one. Last but not least, uh, throw that in there. Great. And many experts say, just to make sure you can see it later when you check the PDF. So yeah, there we go. And let's check how long it is. Well, I'm going to guess around, well, I don't need to guess, 147. <gasps> Imagine that. It's always around 150. And if we take this off, now we're down to, oh, hold on. We take this off. There's 42, 107, right? And if we make this, right? If we take this off, there's another 18 words. So you can see, right? Like if you just focus on this type of topic sentence, and then you just focus on two points, for those of you trying to get a six, you're probably safe. If you're trying to get a little bit higher, then go for three. All right. Last but not least, we, meet, we need to make a conclusion. And as I mentioned at the beginning, usually an advantage is disadvantages. The writing prompt will ask you, do you think the advantages or do you think the advantages outweigh the other? Okay. And the conclusion, I think, is the best place to put it. You can put your opinion in the topic sentence. But I think if you're able to do two body paragraphs and the reader reads those and they're both kind of equally strong, that's the best kind of writing. And then the reader doesn't know your real feeling until the end. That's really good academic writing. Okay. So I always think it's a little bit better um, for this, for the advantages, disadvantages to save your opinion to the end. You don't have to. I just think it looks a little bit more professional and academic. All right, but let's do our conclusion. In conclusion, I believe that the advantages of telecommuting slightly outweigh the disadvantages, comma, how, however, comma, this is not true for all types of work. So I really want to stress this. And this is where in my conclusion, I might explain in a little bit more detail, right? Or I could give a suggestion. I would consider rather than working 100% remotely or in an office, comma, instead, companies and employees work out a system whereby they can split up the work to that which is necessary in an office and that which could be allocated to be done at home. This may not be possible for all types of work, but I think more employers should have an open mind about this modern concept. Now, this is a little bit long, but you could stop. Yeah, you could stop here, but it's good to give a little reason. So I maybe stop right about here. And you could use simple wording, you, you know, just kind of explain what you want. You can make a prediction if you want. You, I think industries around the world are changing and that more and more people will be working from home in the future. Yeah, just I, You don't have to put this in there, but again, you can do prediction, you can do a recommendation, you can give an opinion. I just really want to stress or emphasize there is so much more you can do in a conclusion rather than just summarizing what you already said. Okay, and that's what a lot of websites and other so-called IELTS experts point out, um, but it, you can do much more. Now, you can see that it's 460. Don't get too scared by that number, okay? Um, if we cut this, even this, 
right? If we cut this off, well, now we're down to 400. And as I mentioned, this is here, a little bit long, 54. This was about 100, 250. And then here, if we stopped around here or a little bit more, now we're at 300. That's the magic number, right? 100, around 100 words for each body paragraph, around 50 for the introduction, around 50 for the conclusion, boom, there's your six, depending on your writing style, maybe 6.5. If you need something higher, then this is more. Now, remember, check the information section below. There's a PDF there. PDF there. Um, I explain what score this essay would get, and I also show you what a band six essay, same ideas, same topic, what that would look like and what a band nine would look like. The band nine one is quite useful because you will see better connecting words, right? Like for a band nine essay, you would never use like first, right? You would use much more academic ones, but you don't have to. I just try to follow the style of what a band seven would look like um, for this essay. Uh, remember, if you want to get in touch with me, my email is in the information section. Um, there's many other videos on my channel. And I wish you the best of luck on your next IELTS test.